Here are my five hacks for content creators so that you can level up your content. These hacks are gonna instantly make you look like a pro. So even if you are already a content creator, get ready because these little tips of mine are gonna help to really take your content up a notch. If you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Don't forget I'm on several different platforms. So anything that takes your fancy, business, mindset, productivity, beauty as well, fashion, lifestyle, whatever it is that you like whether you like watching it whether you like reading it I've got something for everyone so head over to any of these platforms and check them out because I'd love to see you over there too now let's get started with this video audience understanding your audience is crucial understanding what their interests are what they like everything like that is going to help you to actually create the best possible content for them it's actually the key point when it comes to creating content that they love because sometimes what happens is we get so lost in the content creation cycle that we actually forget that there are people sitting there looking at our content watching it reading it and they actually want something specific from us. And a lot of the time we forget to actually interact with them. So make sure that you do actually find out what it is that they love, talk to them, engage with them, create polls on your stories, whether it's like on Instagram or whether it's on TikTok or YouTube, whatever it is, most platforms have something where you can upload something where you can actually get some feedback from your audience because ultimately that's what those platforms want. They want us to be able to engage with the audience. The whole point that we're on there is for other people to see what we're doing. And as a content creator, it's not just about the brands that get in touch and book you for these things because ultimately what they're doing is creating content with you so that you can show your audience your audience is so important that's why it's so crucial to your whole content creation cycle let their voices assist you when it comes to creating content because ultimately that's what's going to actually thrive on your channel you want content that your viewers are going to want to come back for more and more and more and if they got there in the first place there's going to be more and more people wanting to actually check out your content if you're creating content that resonates with them so maybe put together a poll that actually shows different categories that you were thinking of getting into or somehow are linked with the need Niche that you're in or maybe you're just not in a niche maybe you actually do, do have several different topics that you're covered that you cover maybe you want to talk about something that you haven't spoken about before so put these ideas onto a poll so that your audience can actually see whether they want to see more of that or whether they want you to branch out into something new it's quite interesting because as soon as I put polls up it gives me a better understanding of who my audience is so think about who it is that's watching your stories looking at your photos looking at your reels your shorts your videos it's hard to figure out and imagine who that audience is without interacting with them. So you've probably heard this a lot on YouTube videos or wherever else you've been watching content. Imagine being the person watching your content. And sometimes that can be difficult because you might think your content is great, but your audience, it's not just like, there are not thousands of you watching your content. They're all different. They all have their different wants and dislikes and likes. And that's why it's important for you to understand them. So interact with them, engage with them, figure out what it is that they wanna see so that you can create what they want. And as soon as they see that you're actually putting them first, you're actually interested in what they want to see, they are going to become loyal fans. The hook. The first three to 10 seconds are everything when it comes to your video. And trust me, this is probably one of the hardest things as well because it's so difficult to think of a hook that relates to your video because you see so many things like clickbait, you know, videos which have something crazy at the beginning or even the thumbnail looks crazy where it's like, whoa, that looks insane. I really need to see what happens. And then nothing ever comes of it. That's clickbait. You don't want anything like that because the minute you do something like clickbait, so you're enticing someone to come in and view your video or watch or read whatever you are publishing, if it's not answered in your video at some point that viewer has no reason to believe you when they see another video with another thumbnail that says something crazy so you've really got to think about whether you are actually delivering from your hook too so create a great hook get them excited about something but make sure you are actually delivering that promise too throughout your video at some point a hook is basically something that entices the viewer to think you know what i really want to stick around for this i really want to see what this is that she's doing or he's doing there's no point saying something crazy at the beginning of your video as a hook and then nothing ever comes of it if that happened to me that has happened to me by the way i have watched videos where i've been sucked in because of the hook and i've watched it and i'm like where is it where is it it's just wasted like 10 to 12 minutes of my time 
because they didn't actually have what they were talking about in the video or it was so lame like i mean like it had no it literally was blown way out of proportion on the hook or on the thumbnail and it was just nothing like that so you've really got to make sure that you are doing what you're saying you're gonna do storytelling this is one of my favorites people connect with stories it's like, think about a movie. When you're watching a movie, it really sucks you in. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm a big movie, like, lover. I love movies. I love movies that move me. I love movies that make me feel some type of emotion, you know? I feel like I'm connected. Like, I feel like I'm really feeling it. Think about your stories in that way. Like, are you telling a story? People want to know why they're sticking around. They want to feel like they're sucked in. And it's not just about finding out a certain piece of information. It's about telling them a story. Like, you can do this yourself. Don't just think as movies being something that is so unreachable and so unachievable for you. Create your own movie in a short, like 10 second video in a 30 second video, you can still create a story that way. So for example, if you're doing a vlog in a short format, so short form videos, you can actually create your story with seconds. So a second of me walking, a second of me putting my coffee in, a second of me sitting down to get some work done, a second of me then going for a walk outside and then it carries on with each second throughout that video. And in total, you've probably got 30 seconds and each second is telling a little snippet of your day. And when you put all those seconds together, it tells a story and it makes the person feel like they are there with you. People love that. So think about what it is that you're telling in your video. Like what kind of story are you telling? Visuals. A well put together video or picture is honestly so important, but at the same time, it's really important that it is authentic. I'm not going to say that you should have one or the other because I really do feel like it depends on the person watching or wh whoever your viewer is. Some people really like that authentic, raw feel to a video or a picture, and some people really like that put together, very aesthetic feel to it, you know? So it really does depend on who your viewer is, but you have to think about what is your vibe, what is your interest? What do you, how do you want your whole content to look? Do you have a certain theme in mind? Do you have, for example, on your Instagram page or on your TikTok page, do you have a certain theme that you follow? Even on your YouTube channel, your homepage is important. Do you have a kind of general aesthetic that you have which is uniform throughout. For example, I don't want to put up one grainy picture, which is really low in exposure. And then the next one is super vibrant. You know, you want to stick to something which is quite cohesive and, and helps the viewer's eye to follow in a fluid way. And it just flows. It makes the viewer feel at ease when they're looking at your videos. You know, when I'm looking at someone's feed and there's a bit of this and there's a bit of that and a bit of that theme, you know, one is black and white and then one's super vibrant and then one's quite low exposure. I kind of feel like there's no consistency. Generally, when I look at a, a feed, I really do like a cohesive feed that makes me feel like this is very well put together. This person thought about it and they have a vibe and I like that vibe. So I want to stick around and follow and I want to see what else they've got. So think about how you are selling your feed, not just every individual picture as an as its own picture or video think about how it all sells together how does it all fit together you just got to remember that people are very visual the, it's the first thing that we see and if we like what we see we're going to stick around consistency i didn't want to start with this one because everyone's going to be like this is so obvious everyone says it honestly i never realized why people were saying it so much until i realized myself like until i went through the whole journey of being a content creator myself i used to hear it from people i used to be like oh my god this whole consistency thing i've heard it over and over and over again it's so i'm just done with it you know but when i actually went through my journey myself which i'm still on i realized that consistency is just so important because the minute you fall off and you're not consistent with your uploading your videos, your pictures, whatever it is, whatever platform you're talking about. And this is the one thing that connects every single platform. We all talk about algorithm and things like that. Like what's the algorithm for YouTube? What's the algorithm for Instagram? Forget the algorithm. The one thing that all of these platforms have in common, which they require, is consistency. So don't forget to pay attention to that. And even if you are uploading once a week, it's still doable at least. It's you're not, you know, you're not putting too much pressure on yourself by saying, okay, every day or anything like that. Be realistic about it. Give yourself a bit of space and figure out what it is that you want to do that you can stick to. It's like building a relationship. The more you show up, the more you're building that trust in the person and they're going to want to stick around. Just remember that content creation is a journey. It is really important to enjoy it as well because the whole 
point you probably started this is because you love something about it. You're passionate about it. Don't forget that reason. Don't forget why you started it. So it's easy to get consumed by what it is your audience wants, being consistent, having the right kind of vibe or theme, is it aesthetically pleasing? And all these things are really important, as I've mentioned, but ultimately you've got to remember why you started this. You wanna keep that passion alive so that you can continue, make a success of it, but also enjoy it along the way. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.